So the abstract reasoning subtest is one that a lot of people say you either get or you don't, but I scored an 870 on it and today I'll be doing a full abstract reasoning subtest live on camera. Hey everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you don't know me, my name is Emil and I'm a first year medical student studying at Monash University in Melbourne, Australia. And on this channel, we help high school students trying to get into undergraduate medicine in Australia. Since I care about all of your time so much, I'm gonna get straight into the subtest, but all I ask in return is that you smash the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel. So I've got the abstract reasoning subtest up from the UCAT official website. This is practice test A. So let's just get started. Okay, so this first pattern I'm seeing straight away, black in set A and no black in set B. So that might be it. I see that there's more black than white in set A and also I see that there's one, three, three, five, five. So there's odd numbers in set A and even numbers in set B. Um, this one would probably be neither because there aren't more black shapes. This would be set B, uh, set A. Uh, this would be neither as well because there's two even shapes. And this one would also be neither. Okay. Um, this one immediately in set A, I notice there's the overlaps and some of the overlaps are colored. Um, okay, so I see that the overlaps with the straight lines are colored in and yeah, and the overlaps without, um, with curved lines are not. Um, so got that. Then in set B, it seems like the opposite, so curved line overlaps are colored in. Okay, so this would be set A. I think there might be more to this pattern, but not quite sure. This one would be set B. Uh, I'll go set B on this. This one would be set A. And this one would be set B. Okay. These ones with the arrows. So I'm noticing that some arrows are colored. Um, in the ones with colored arrows, I see that there are circles. The ones without don't have circles. Have a look in set B. Um, colored ones. The colored ones all have triangles. I see that from these two. So maybe I'll go with that. I'm not sure if there's more to this one, but I'll flag it and move on. Uh, so this one has a triangle, no circle. So we shaded, so this would be set A. <clears throat> so it has a circle and a shaded, so set A. Circle not shaded, this could be set B. Um, circle and triangle, not shaded. Maybe neither. Two triangles and shaded, set B. Okay. This one, noticing triangles. So these three are essentially all the same. And then I have a look at this. I think it might be to do with the sides. So we've got nine sides here. One, two, three, four, five, nine. So then maybe that the black shapes have a doubled in the side count. Just gonna look at that. Yeah, so everything would be nine in set A. Then we have set B. This would be four sides and then plus six, 10. Um, this would be 13, so that wouldn't work. Maybe if we do it the other way around. So if this was eight and this was three, this was six and this was 10, that would be 11. So that would work. Eight plus three, six plus five. Yep, these will work. So this one, we've got 12 sides, it's neither. So this, the whites are doubled. And in this one, the black number of sides is doubled. And this one adds up to nine and this one adds up to 11. So this would be set A. Um, 
4 plus 4 plus 3. Set B. Set A. Um, so this could be... Oh, this would be set B. Okay. This one intersection is just looking straight away. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, yep. So set A is four intersections. Set B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Intersections. And also they all have three shapes. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This would be Neela. 1, 2, 3, 4, set A. This has four shapes, so probably Neela. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, set B. One, two, three, four, five, six, set B again. <clears throat> okay. With this one, I see there's only triangles and circles in everything. So set A, it looks like this one. Yeah, this one has three circles, three triangles. This one has three circles, three triangles. This has three circles and two triangles. Oh no, three triangles, I just missed out. Uh, two circles, two triangles, yeah. And then in set B, it looks like we've got one more circle than the number of triangles. Um, is that it? I'm not sure if that is it to the set, but... I think I'll go with that. So this would be set B. One, two, three. Um, three triangles, we'll set A. Three and three, set A. Four and four, set A again. Three and two, that'll be set B. Okay. These clock, I really don't like these clock ones, but it's usually to do with angles, I know. So, um, it could be angles or also numbers, but yeah, I'm noticing with this one, the angles are all acute angles, but then there are two right angle ones as well. Um, and then set B, they're all obtuse angles. And then there are two right angle ones. So I just need to find the difference between the right angles. So with this one, the arrow that isn't like solid is earlier on the clock, um, anti-clockwise from this one. And then on this one, it's clockwise, it seems. Yeah, yeah, so that would make sense. Um, so this would be C. This one would be set A. This would be set A. This would be set B. And this would also be set B. Okay. I, these ones I really don't like. Um, but I'll start with counting the number of blocks, maybe. So we've got four, six, 10, 16, four, 10, 16, three, six, 12, 16. So these all have 16. So look at this, three, three, nine, 12, 16 as well, five, so it seems like they all have 16 in all of the sets. I'm just gonna make sure I don't spend too much time on this. Um, there doesn't seem to be any correlation in like the, the type of shapes. I can't really see this one. So I'm gonna flag and just click A for all of them. The reason I have to click on flag is because Alt F doesn't work on this website. Uh, okay. This one seems fairly, yeah, fairly easy. The, the black shapes are in this arrangement in all of set A, and then they're in this arrangement in set B. Um, yeah, it's pretty easy. Not sure if there's anything else, but I'll just stick with that. Okay, so these complete the series. I'm just going to look at one object 
So we've got the black moves down, one moves down, one moves up. So the black would have to be in the middle. So it can't be A or B, have to be C or D. Then let's just look at this cross. Cross moves across, moves up, moves down. So it would be, yeah, this has to be D. <clears throat> okay, so with this one, we'll do the same thing. Let's look at the triangle. The ball inside the triangle is moving. So it goes this, this side, this side, then this side. So it would be here and black. So it'd have to be, oh, it has to be A. Um, okay. So in this one, the circle goes to the outside. The square with the grid goes to the very middle. So everything just moves out one layer, it seems. Um, so we'd have black circle, white square, um, circle with the lines going down and then diamond with the lines going across. So that's this one, I think. Yeah, and there's no rotation or anything like that. Yeah. Three minutes left. This one, the circle becomes an oval and the squares are just put down and the colors invert. So the square would become flattened out as well, I think. And the colors would invert. So I think it's this one. This one, triangle just goes to the top. So it will be an oval that goes to the top. So it has to be B or D. Then the black and black and white backgrounds don't change, but these two change, I think. Yes, these two change. So this flips to here, this flips to here. So it'd have to be a white circle. So it has to be B. This one, I've actually done this, a type of question like this before, I think. So white splits into two. Yeah, white splits into two. Starts with a black, white splits into a two. Shaded does not split. Shaded does not split, white splits, yep. Uh, I think set B, it's gonna be shaded splits. Yeah, shaded splits. And then shaded splits, white doesn't. Okay, so set A would be white splits. So that's this. Set A, white splits. It starts with a black though, so copy that. Um, so it's this. Set A, white splits. Not this. Copy that. Shaded splits. So that would be... Could be this or this. I think this is not right, because it has the two white things. Which is the following blanks? Set B. That's shaded splits. No. Yes. Shaded splits. So it just because of this. Okay. So we've got like a minute-ish left. Well, look at the flag ones. Yeah, for this one, I don't know if there's anything else that we can look at. I really can't see anything actually. So I'm gonna hope it's the circle shade and triangle thing. I'll have a look at the other ones that I didn't really get. Yeah, with this one I can't really tell either. Because they all had 16, I counted. Four, five. 16, yeah. Yeah, I think we're out of time anyway, so. I'm pretty happy with that. I think I got most of the patterns actually. Um, we'll just have to see whether I got the full pattern or maybe I missed like small little things. So, 
With that said, with the subtest done, I'll skip to the end and you can see the results. Okay, so as you can see, out of the 55 questions on this subtest, I've got a nine incorrect, which I'm actually pretty happy with since I thought that some of the questions in this subtest were actually fairly difficult. So I'll go through the explain answer for each of these and then you can see maybe why I got them wrong. So I actually had a look at the answers and this set of questions actually makes very little sense to me. So the answer rationale they give is that in set A, the blocks can be fitted together to form a four by four square. And I can actually see that for um, this box here because you could put those, um, if you were to sort of connect these together, you would be able to get a four by four square, um, putting this, this, this and horizontally and then this one uh, and then this third one as well. But I don't see that for any of the other squares in set A. Um, for example, with this box here, I don't see any way you could put these shapes together to actually get a four by four shape. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you see what I'm seeing and whether it makes sense to you as well. But what I think this shows is that there can be like dodgy questions on the official website even. So take it with a grain of salt. And if you can actually see that there's a mistake with the question, you're probably doing a good job because you can think critically and understand for yourself why a question might be incorrect. So that brings me to the end of the abstract reasoning subtest. Thank you guys so much for watching and maybe check out this video of me doing the quantitative reasoning subtest live on camera.